Hey creators, today I'm stoked to share with you 7 awesome CapCut tips and features that'll take your video editing game to the next level. I'll show you how to place text behind a person, how to harness the power of AI within CapCut to build your dream YouTube studio, and learn how to add captions to your videos and explore many other features. And guess what? They're all absolutely free. So, let's dive right in and unleash the magic of CapCut. Tip number one. Ever wanted to place text behind a person speaking in your video? Well, it's totally doable, and I'm about to show you how. First things first, we gotta activate the free layer feature. Head over to the project details on the right-hand side. Click on Modify and toggle that baby on. This nifty tool lets us freely move elements in our project layers, like text behind a video clip, Next, import your video clip and drop it onto the timeline. This is our base or background layer. Then, add your text layer above it, adjust its length, type in your text and jazz it up with your favorite font and size. Now, here's the trick, duplicate your video clip layer by holding Alt for PC or Option for Mac, and dragging it over your text layer. With the duplicated clip selected, head over to the Video tab. Click on Cut Out and activate Auto Cut Out. Boom, your subject is now magically removed from the background revealing the text behind them. Pro tip, spice up your text with some cool animations for that extra wow factor. Tip number two. Did you know you can create your very own YouTube, TikTok, or Instagram studio using AI? Yes, CapCut is not just a video editor, it's a creative powerhouse. Head over to the left-hand side and click on AI Generated. Here, you can describe the image you envision. Let's say you're dreaming of a cozy YouTube studio. Type it in, hit Generate, and voila. Check out that sleek studio vibe. Wish yours looked like that too, right? Now, select your favorite image and click on HD to upscale the quality. Add it to your timeline with a click of the plus icon. Oops, wait, our image isn't in the right aspect ratio. No worries, just click on the ratio button and select 16 by 9. Adjust the scale to fit your video resolution output perfectly. Next up, let's add some personality with a talking head video. Import your file from your device, drag it onto the timeline, and place it over your AI-generated image. Now, let's remove the background from the talking head clip, just like we did in tip number one. Click into video cutouts, and tada, seamless integration achieved. Bonus tip, feeling extra creative? Generate an AI sticker. Head to the sticker tab, select AI generated, input your text prompt, and choose your favorite sticker to add some flair to your masterpiece. Tip number three. Let's blur out a face. Imagine, you've got someone whose face you want to blur in your video, while still keeping the background visible. CapCut's got a nifty feature called Mask to help you with that. First things first, import your video clip and drag it down to the timeline. Now, let's duplicate this clip. Press Alt for PC or Option for Mac, and drag it on top of the main clip. Let's give it that blur effect. Head over to Effects and search for Blur. I'll select this effect, and drag it down into the duplicated clip. Voila, everything's nicely blurred out, but hold up, we only want the blur to cover our subject's face. Click on the video clip and head to the top right corner, then click on the mask tab. Let's go for the circle mask as it fits perfectly on the face. Now, let's position the mask over the face and adjust the size to cover it entirely. But here's the kicker, when we play the video, the blur mask isn't following our subject's face. Time to bring in another cap cut gem known as keyframe. Back to the beginning of the timeline. The blur position looks good here. Click on the little diamond icon to apply a keyframe. This locks the mask mask in place at this frame. As we move forward, our subject moves but the mask stays put. Let's adjust the mask position over the subject's face. CapCut's got our back with automatic keyframe application. Move forward, adjust the mask position, and another keyframe is applied. Even at the end where our subject's face slightly shifts, we adjust it and bam, another keyframe. Now, when we play our video from the beginning, you'll see the mask moving seamlessly with our subject's movements. Looking sharp, right? Want to soften those mask edges? You can apply a feather to smooth in these edges. That's pretty slick. Tip number four. Utilize shortcut keys to speed up your editing process. Let's dive into some of my favorite time-saving shortcuts. Say I've got a clip in my media bin, but I only want to insert a portion of it onto my timeline. Press the I key to set the endpoint. Then move to where you want the clip to end and hit the O key to set the out point. Now, drag this down onto your timeline and voila. You've inserted only the portion you need. Now, let's split this clip. I'll leave some at the beginning and move some to the end. Hover over and you'll see a yellow line. That's your preview axis. You can turn this on by clicking here. 
or simply press S on your keyboard. Find the frame you want to split and hit Ctrl plus B to split the clip. Alternatively, press B on your keyboard and your mouse pointer changes to a blade tool. Click where you want to split the clip. Now, let's trim this video clip. Press Q to remove everything to the left and W to trim everything to the right. These shortcuts are handy, especially with multiple layers to trim. Select the clips, find the frame, and press Q or W. Want to see your timeline take up the full space? That's easy. You could zoom in or simply press Shift plus Z and boom, your timeline fills up the screen. And guess what? There are plenty more shortcut keys you can use. Click on the shortcut tab to see them all. You can even customize them to your liking. That's kinda cool. Tip number five, create a brand kit to streamline your editing process. A brand kit is a game changer, especially if you're constantly using the same assets. It gives you quick access to your favorite media across all your projects. On the left hand side, Click into an existing space or create a new one. Let's dive into this existing space. Here, you can add a variety of media to your brand kit. These may be videos, images, stickers, fonts, and even colors you use frequently in your videos. Let's say you want to add an image file. Click on that and select the image you use the most. I'll choose that one and now it's added to my brand kit. You can also add music you use often. Just click to add it to your brand kit. Now, let's start a new project. Click on Home and then New Project. Within the project, navigate to the bottom of the Media section, and you'll find a category for brand assets. Click on that, and there's the image we added. It's that easy. Now, you can quickly drag and drop your favorite assets into your project. And don't forget about your brand music. It's right there at the bottom of the audio list. Isn't it awesome? CapCut makes it so effortless to keep your editing consistent. And this brings us to tip number six. Speed up your editing with proxy media. Ever feel like CapCut is lagging a bit while you're working on your masterpiece? Don't worry. There's a solution called proxy media that can help boost your performance. Within your project, head over to the right-hand side and click on modify in the project details. Then switch to the performance tab at the top. Here, you'll find a toggle for proxy. This nifty feature creates lower resolution versions of your video clips making it much easier for your computer to handle. But don't fret about quality when you render your project. CapCut will use the original video files so you won't lose a pixel. Simply toggle proxy on and then hit save down below. And there, your editing experience just got a whole lot smoother. Bonus tip for an even smoother playback experience. Look for the three line tab in the upper right corner of the project window. Click on it, then hover over preview quality and select performance priority. This will prioritize performance over quality during editing, ensuring your playback stays buttery smooth. And this brings us to tip number seven, engage your audience with captions. Captions are key, especially for YouTube shorts. And guess what? CapCut makes adding them a breeze for free. Let's say you've already polished your shorts, but they're missing that extra oomph from captions. No worries, CapCut got you covered. Simply Simply click on text in the upper left corner of your workspace, then select auto captions. Choose your language, mine's English, and hit create. Boom, captions are now on your timeline below. But wait, those default captions could use a little spice, right? With the text caption selected, click on text and then templates. Explore the range of options, there are pro level choices and fantastic freebies. Play around with size, font style, and color in the basic tab until you're satisfied. Now, hit play from the beginning to see how it looks. Life's too short for anything but happiness. Find joy in the little things, embrace every moment, and let positivity guide Pretty cool, huh? So, which CapCut tip and feature stole the show for you? Drop a comment below. And hey, if you want more awesome tutorials like this one, smash that subscribe button. Happy editing and I'll catch you in the next video.